Welcome back. I'm First Alert meteorologist Jack Van Meter. Taking a look at our radar. We can see all clear right now. Just a couple of those clouds moving into Michiana, finally breaking down. Actually, could get a pretty decent sunset tonight as we were pretty cloudy during the day. We're seeing a bit of a break in the clouds. And they'll be returning again for the overnight hours tonight. Take a look at the next three hours. We can see just starting to cool down ever so slightly. Again, those clouds will start to be building back in and much like I was saying last night, may want to grab that sweatshirt if you are headed out tonight, if you do have any late night plans and also you do want to get plenty of rest as well for tomorrow morning, especially we are going to be dealing with some visibility issues tomorrow morning due to fog earlier in the morning, pretty much from four in the morning down to around eight, nine in the morning. We're going to be dealing with some patchy to dense fog, especially in those rural areas, especially like in farm fields. Corn fields are very notorious for putting out a lot of moisture and seeing really dense fields of fog there. So if you are headed out tomorrow, tomorrow morning, make sure just take it easy. Give yourself some extra time on the road and make sure you put on those fog lights for tomorrow's forecast. So 81 degrees tomorrow. Again, we are going to be dealing with that fog in the morning and we will be seeing the PM scattered shower later in the day. Again, it's going to be a great day. Yes, we do have a chance of rain, but that doesn't mean cancel all the plans. We only have a 20% chance of those showers later in the afternoon and they're going to be of the pop up variety, so they're going to be very hit and miss as you move throughout the day. And that's going to be the deal, honestly, for much of the week, excluding Wednesday, that is. So tomorrow, again, 20% chance for those pop ups. We're going to see a very similar situation on Tuesday as well. Sa same timing, actually, as those pop up showers will be coming up right around the afternoon and then going away by evening time. Wednesday, though, we are going to be dealing with more widespread showers and even a couple rumbles of thunder in there. Right now, no severe risk, which is great news, and we're going to be keeping that throughout the week. Thursday, we're just going to be seeing the remnants of the cold front moving through on Wednesday, and we'll be clearing for Friday and actually towards much of the weekend as well. But as we move up to those chances of rain later in the week, especially on Wednesday, we can see that dew point is going to start unfortunately spiking again. When we see dew points in the high 60s and lower 70s, for that matter, we're going to be seeing that really heavy air move back into Michiana, unfortunately, and that humidity is going to be coming back. That's why this past week and weekend was so beautiful because actually we had almost no humidity, uh, noticeable, I should say, humidity in the atmosphere. We were all well under 60 degrees. We're actually currently at 58 degrees. Again, very comfortable outside, but moisture is, start gonna, is going to start increasing throughout the week. All right, let's go ahead and time out tomorrow's slight chance of rain. Got it started at 11 o'clock tomorrow on future track because we can see those clouds are starting to move out of the way. Then early afternoon, we can see a couple of these pop ups forming along the, the clouds here. And as I move throughout today, we can see they'll be lasting just up until the evening time. And I'm going to have this play through Tuesday as well, just to see those pop up chances pop up again. Same time, right around two o'clock in the afternoon through right around dinner time is when we're going to be seeing those pop up chances. Take a look at that 10 day forecast again. Temperature wise, honestly, not bad whatsoever. Very seasonable temperatures we'll be seeing this week at least and that just chance of rain each day and then actually next weekend going to be heating up quite a lot as well.